Hi, in this video we're going to draw a reciprocal function and then use it to find some values. So, draw a graph of y is equal to 12 over x plus x minus 4 for x being between 1 and 6 using the table method. Uh, what makes it a reciprocal uh, function because we're dividing by x here. Use the graph to find the minimum value of y and find the value of x where this occurs. State the values of x for which y is equal to 3.5. So we've got y is equal to 12 over x plus x minus 4. Making a table, so our table goes from x 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now put in an extra column here, we'll talk about that later. Break the function down so it's 12 over x plus x minus 4. So, as I just said, this is an extra column which we'll talk about in a minute, which is will, might, might or might not be necessary. So, working each of these out, uh, 12 divided by 1 gives me 12, 12 divided by 2 gives me 6, 12 divided by 3 gives me 4, 12 divided by 4 gives me 3, 5 divided by 12 gives me 2.4, uh, 12 divided by 6 gives me 2. These are all the same value as what x is. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and these are always going to be minus 4. All right, remember the bit here in the middle here is to help us work out the y coordinate only. It's, uh, it's only working out. Um, so we add these together. So if we add these together, we can do 12 plus 1, take away 4, which is 9. 6 plus 2 take away 4, which is 4. 4 plus 3 take away 4, which is 3. 3 plus 4 take away 4, which is 3. 2.5, 2.4, sorry, plus 5 minus 4 is 3.4. 2 plus 6 take away 4 is 4. Now, if we look here, we've got two values of the same, and they're the lowest values. And we, if we're not careful, we'll just get a, a straight line at the bottom of the curve. So what we need to do is to take an extra point here between 3 and 4. So here we'll put in 3.5. Now, 12 divided by 3.5 is 3.4, correct, to one decimal place. And that's probably the best we could probably do when we're plotting a graph. This is the same value as x, which is 3.5. And this here will be minus 4. So 3.45 so 3.4 plus 3.5 take away 4 gives me 2.9. So we will plot 1, 9, 1, 9, 2, 4, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3.4, 6 and 4, and our extra point 3.5 and 2.9. So... Just writing that out again up here. So just remember the bit in the middle of the table was just working out. We don't really need it. So drawing an x-axis from 0 to 6 and a y-axis from 0 to 9. We don't need any negative x or negative y. And then plotting the point. So we want 1, 9, which is that point there. 2, 4, which is that point there, 3, 3, which is that point there. Now, now we need 3.5, so 3.5 will be halfway between, and then we need to go to slightly lower, so we need that, in the middle of that little square there will be 2.9, and then 4, 3, and then 5, 3.4, so that's going to be, that's 3.2, that's 3.4, one of these little squares is going to be 0.2, so it's a good idea to work out what they're worth. And then 6, 4, which is that point there. Okay, so we've drawn those up with a nice smooth uh, curve. And we label the curve y is 12 over x plus x take away 4. Right, in part b, we're now asked to find the minimum value of y. So the minimum value of y occurs here. So you need to... Um, indicate on your graph how you've got the answer so you need to draw some dotted lines so that value there was 2.9 so drawing a line across here and then reading down to get the value of x we can see it's 3.5 
So the minimum value of y is 2.9 at x is equal to 3.5 is the minimum because it's the bottom point of the curve. We asked to find the value of x, or well, the values of x when y is equal to 3.5. So we find 3.5 here on the y-axis. We draw a line across, we will see that it cuts in two places. Which is there and there. We'll read down off our graph. So this one gives me 2.3. So you'll be allowed to probably be plus or uh, minus 1.1 out in an exam. So 2.3 and the other value we already know is 5. And therefore we can say x is equal to 2.5 or 3.3 sorry 2.3 or 3.5. So this has been a video to show you how to draw a reciprocal function using the table method and then use it to find some information from the graph. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.